Okay, so before this video starts, I would want I want everyone to tag or message Crypty that I want to be on his page so I can get my own merch. Um, the Twitter post for this video will be linked down below, and I will tag Crypty in it, and just like like or just you know bombard him with. Uh, messages saying hey we want to see paperclip merch so yeah now I'll let the video begin hey yo sapads um today's video is on how I set up my phones now uh, I have updated the way I do things um, instead of user land today I'm gonna set up uh, in termux but also there'll be other steps um, before that. So, uh, I bought a brand new Samsung AO3S. Uh, I think it's the most overrated mining phone, but it is a Samsung phone and it is Ver Verizon. So it's full of bloatware and I will show you why I picked a phone with a bunch of bloatware. But yeah, let's get this setup going and then yeah. Or it will be good to go. Okay, so we're gonna do the first power up of the phone. And uh, I would do this over the computer and show you, but I, <laughs> I can't connect it to the computer just yet. And it's a track phone, so it usually takes forever for it to do anything. Okay, cool, we're on the start screen. So we're gonna go start. And you're gonna only want to agree to the ones that you have to agree to. The touch screen seems to be very, yeah. And nope, we're gonna skip that. And Retro Mike says he usually skips Wi-Fi, but uh, I usually go with my Wi-Fi right away. It doesn't really matter to me. We're connected. And then next. And this part. All right, and I'm going to sign into my Gmail. All right, so we're signing my Gmail. And we're pretty much going to say no to every single option. And we're going to skip every single option. And we're going to say no to every single one of these apps. And we're going to say no, no, next. Uh, skip, skip, nope. Nope, and agree. Nope, nope, accept and continue. And of course, we're gonna go in dark mode. Just, there's no other way. Finish. Cool. So now we are in the phone. And I will turn the brightness up here. Alright, that should be better. Um, and the only thing I'm going to do from here uh, is I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to go to about phone. Uh, software information. And then I'm going to enable developer mode. And 
I will now take you, now we have developer options. So I will now take you to the next step of setting up the phone. So I only wanted to show this part on camera. So you're gonna go down and you're gonna go to USB debugging while your phone is hooked up to your computer and you're gonna turn it on. And you're just gonna say, okay. And sometimes this pop-up doesn't come up if you already have USB debugging on. So that's why I like to plug it in and then turn on USB debugging and you're gonna go allow. And yeah, and now we'll go to the computer. So the first thing we're gonna do on my phone is uh, we are gonna deep load it. So we're gonna go to local disk, platform tools, and I downloaded this universal, what's it called? Universal Android Debloater. And you're gonna go uh, select all. That usually will select the most common bloatware that's put on the phone. It'll go Chrome, because I want to keep Chrome. And then GM, that's uh, Google uh, G Gmail. You want to keep that. And now I'm going to go to all packages. And I'm going to type in Verizon. And that is the only one, so I think we're okay. And we are going to uninstall all those um, unneeded uh, software. Cool. So now that that's done, um, we're going to exit. And I'm going to go into my, my downloads and we are going to go into uh, Scrappy and we are going to go into the phone through our computer. And just like a normal phone, you got to swipe. I'll make this big. Um, okay, now we'll go back. Okay, now we'll just go through general settings. Uh, the first thing I like to search up is Amber. Uh, see if Amber alerts come up. And if that doesn't come up, I will just type in alerts. So we'll go into these ones, wireless emergency alerts. And we're gonna turn off all those alerts. Now, this doesn't turn off uh, presidential alerts, but it will turn off every other type of alert. And then we'll go down. Um, For display, uh, I usually just go 30 minutes and then I think that's it for display and then we're going to go down, we're going to lock screen and then we're going to turn off our lock screen and then, yeah. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're gonna, Now we're in the main screen. And we're going to disable this because it's useless. Um, also, we'll clear that. But um, I like to go into the Play Store. And I will go here, I'll go to settings, I'll go to network preferences, and then I will do not auto update um, uh, apps. And I only do this because so if, you're, you, if you are using, using Userland, um, 
it uh, uh, user land will close itself when it updates, so it prevents that. Okay, and now on to the next step. Okay, I know I originally said I was going to do the Termux method, but uh, I cannot get the Termux method to work on the AO3S. So we're just going to go the the plain old the, the user land method. This, this is the, you know, tried and true way of doing it. So first we're going to get user land. We're going to install, and then next, we're going to get gamma QR code scanner. Uh, the gamma play one I find to be the best uh, um, for uh, scanning QR codes, so we'll install that. So now, now while that's going, we're going to open up user land. We're going to go Ubuntu. We're going to hit allow, minimal. Always use this setting for terminal and continue. And you're going to let this download. And this may take some time. Okay, cool. Now we're in user land. I didn't really want to show you the user land method because I do have a new Termux method that I wanted to show you. And I tried really, really hard, but it just did not want to work on this AO3S. But the first thing you're going to want to do, and I get asked this all the time, is how do you uh, mine with your screen off? So you're going to drag down this and you're going to go acquire wake lock. Cool. Now we're going to go back. And we're gonna go to the QR code scanner. And we're gonna wall it while using this app. And we are gonna scan the QR code. So this is all the commands we need to start mining. So we're gonna do, we're going to copy and close everything else and we're going to paste. Okay, cool. Uh, CC Miner is, uh, it's downloaded. So now we're going to go back here and we're going to, we're going to go copy this first one we'll go paste and that brings us into the actual CC miner and then we'll go we'll copy this one paste and yeah, this is where you can change your pools. Um, today, uh, I mine with uh, Cloud Eco, so you can change it here. So us dot cloud eco dot io, and their port is nine 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 nine, and you go down here, and you get your address from wherever you store your address. Mine will be in my Gmail. You guys get to see all my private emails of how many addresses I send to myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go copy, back. Uh, we'll close Gmail. Go into here, and unfortunately, uh, phone 73 uh, for me died, so this 
phone will be taking its place. And uh, I'm on the computer, so I'm able to use my arrow keys. But when you're on your phone, um, you're going to be clicking on these. And it is very important in this part to not add anything or remove anything. All of this is perfectly in order. And the, the things that I switched are the only things that you can switch. And this um, right here... So if this times out, this farm will take over for 600 seconds, and then it will go back to this farm. So it's kind of like a fail safe. So now we're going to go control X. Y, you're going to hit this control, but I can hit control on my keyboard. Y, and then enter. Now we're going to go slash. Okay, we'll actually we'll go from the commands. Copy. Uh, and we'll paste that in. And then we'll go like this. And we'll go screen. Over. Copy. And paste. X. And yes, now we are mining on Cloud Eco. Um, and if you don't know much about uh, Userland, um, you can go, you can click back. And if you want to um stop your session, like stop mining, you can just go go into your sessions here, go stop session. And, uh, yeah, if you want to go back, just go into Ubuntu. Usually you'll have to hit enter. And then, uh, you go back. And then now we'll go back to CD, CC minor. Start. Dot SH. And then screen. Dash X. And it's very important to remember those those commands because you you might be using them a lot. And make sure you, make sure that your your uh, your acquire wake lock is held. But yeah, that's uh, how I set up my mining phones. So that's how I set up my mining phones. Uh, I'm a little upset because I wanted to show you the termux method. But I guess that can be for another video. I have tons of phones that it works fine with. But the AO3S just would not have it. So um, I will do that in a separate video. That was the original plan. But um, yeah, it, I'm just a little upset that it, that, you know, it didn't work out. I, I only bought a brand new AO3S. Uh, so... I could show you the um, the Termux method. But yeah, um, if you found that video helpful, give me a like and a sub subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, I'll leave them down below. Um, I will leave the, a tutorial on how to uh, use the universal debloater. And I will leave a link on how to install and use Scrappy. And uh, all the links to my social media will be down below. And all the links to my, uh, re uh, all my referral links to all items I use are down below. It helps grow this channel. And yeah. And um, thanks for watching.